Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you today? Well, it's Friday. Thanks God, it's Friday. And we are here in the last class of the week. So um, I'm going to start taking the attendance. So please don't forget to say present or here. Let's start with Alba Vides. Present. Okay, good. How do you feel, Alba? Do you feel better? Okay, Alfredo Rodas. Mr. Rodas is not in the class today. Okay. Uh, Mr. Cañengas. Mr. Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Uh, Roxana Romero. Domingo González, Mr. González. Present, teacher. Fátima Portillo. Ok, Matías Lemus, Mr. Lemus. I'm here. Mr. Velázquez. Teacher. Yes. Present. Yes. You are ok. Present. Yes. Ok, Marco. Eh, Marlon. Mauricio Mahana. Maideli Yudir. Let's see. Did she say, I cannot see the chat. Let's see. Okay, my daily said present. Very good. She's oyente. Nancy Rodriguez. Rocio Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, you're on time today. Sandra Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Salazar. Present teacher. Walter Daniel Gonzalez. Present in the chat. Thank you. William Perez. Jasmine Melanie. Oh, she said present in the chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Matias, for asking us that I receive um, um, bad news. <laughs> That's why. Okay, teacher. I'm sorry. Don't Thank cry, you. teacher. <laughs> Life is beautiful. Thank you. And don't tell me more because I'm very sensitive. <laughs> Okay, guys, this moment. Hello. Yes, teacher. I see. You can see the screen. Yes. I okay, see so in class, uh, thank you so much. Class number 12, how to use puzzle B and simple pass negative. Okay, so yesterday we were learning the past of uh, the past tense in affirmative form. But today um, we are going to uh, study the negative form. And we have uh, the, the following objective. I'm gonna ask Salvador to please read the objective. Thank you, Chair. Class objective. 
participant will be able to write three sentences using the past or clear and the simple past in a clear way correctly individually. Thank you, Salvador. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, you're going to be able to write about the past in the negative form, okay? Now, uh, let's see the agenda. Uh, Victor, would you like to read it, please? Uh, Victor or Ag Agenda. <laughs> What up was the past of activity one, what and where? Activity two, use of the activity three, roll and play. Activity four, listening practice. Right up. Very good. Yes, thank you so much. So we're going to start with the warm up. What's the past? Off. So um, here uh, you're going to see uh, the wheel, uh, the wheel of uh, of verbs in this case. And um, let me see if I can. Okay. Third. Okay. So I'm going to um, select here. Well, the game is going to select one verb and you have to tell me the past tense of this verb in one sentence, okay? So let's see. We have the verb. Drink. Okay, so who can tell me what is the past tense of drink? Wrong. Drunk. It's drunk. drunk. Exactly. Drunk. Who can give me? Who can give me one sentence using drunk? I drank coffee in the morning. I drank three cups of coffee today. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> three cups of coffee? For me, that's a lot. And I was tempted to, um, to drink another one this evening, but I said, no, no, no. You have to control yourself. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, the next volunteer, Let's see, or, or, okay, let me see, Mr. Gualberto Rodriguez, you are going to make the sentence in the next verb, okay? Yeah, wash. What is the pass of wash? Wash it. Okay, it's regular verb in the past. Well, the, the pronunciation of this verb in past is washed. Wash. I washed. Wash. I washed my shoes yesterday. Really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you wash your shoes? Wash. Wash. Why? Well, Why, uh, Mr. Rodriguez? Because, because, because rain, I, 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 me mojé todo y los ensucié. Ah, you got <laughs> wet. Yes. You got all wet. Okay. So it was necessary to wash your shoes. Okay, very good. Next volunteer is going to be Mr. Gonzalez, Domingo Alexander, okay?
Okay, the verb is have. Mr. Domingo Gonzalez, give me what is the pass of have? Uh, at, had. had, exactly, had. Um, uh, had. Can, yes, had. very good. Can you give me a sentence? Can you tell me one sentence using had? Uh, I had the, my company. Okay. You, you had a computer, but then uh, someone stole have... your computer and now you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. The next person is going to be Sandrita because I can see Sandrita right now in the camera. And we, we don't always have that pleasure, that privilege to see Sandrita. So Sandrita, please. Okay, the verb is ride. Okay, Sandrita, what is the pass of ride? Do you remember? The pass. What is the pass of ride? People, can we help? Sandrita, what is the pass of ride? Ride. Road. 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 It's irregular. Yes, the pass yeah. of ride is road. You ride a bicycle, you ride a motorcycle. So, Sandrita, one sentence using road. Or maybe Victor can help you. Somebody to help? It's Friday, teacher. <laughs> And <laughs> uh -huh. we can say, for example, Matias rode his motorcycle to go to work, to go to work. Yes. Okay. Only day. <laughs> okay. Every next, day. Every day. Okay. Yes. Now, um, let's do it as a class, okay? The next verb is... Find. What is the pass of find? Found. Found. Excellent. Yes. The pass of find is found. found. Yes. Mm. Any sentence? Okay, found. ¿Qué significa find, teacher? Más pensar. Find is encontrar o buscar. I'm For fine, I my found. glasses. Okay. Cristina found her glasses under the bed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> De de no, perdí, no <laughs> okay, you lost your, your your glasses, but you found them. Where? Where did you find your glasses? 
Oh. Under a <laughs> ¿Dónde los encontró? Where did you um, find your glasses? In my table. Oh, on the table. Okay. <laughs> I thought that you have them in your hands and you were looking for them. <laughs> yes. Some people have uh, the, the glasses or the keys or things in their hands and they are uh, and they are looking for it. Okay, the next word is think. Okay? What is the pass of think? Think. Aha. Ya vi que no repasaron los verbos. What is the pass of think? <laughs> Look at the list. Oh. Thought. Think. Excellent. Thought. Oh. What oh. sentence can we make with Pensé o pensaba. I thought. About the class, about the class. Okay. So you thought about the class this morning. Very good. Next verb is the verb cup. What is the pass of cup? Got it. Oh, Cut. good try. <laughs> cup is the same Cut. in the it's, past. It's the same verb. It's the same in the past. It doesn't change. It does not change. Okay. So cut, cut. Then what sentence can you make with cut? Cut is cortar, teacher. Yes, yes. cut. I teacher. cut my hair. Okay, you cut your hair. Nice. Teacher. Matias cut the paper. Matias cut a lot of paper at, her, at his work. Okay. Okay. I found I I did cut and the past cut it. No, it's the same. It's irregular and it doesn't change. It's the same. Study. In the past. Study. Study it. Uh huh. And what sentence can you make with that verb? Study it. Study it. Exactly. Study it. Very good. I studied for the exam. I don't study the verbs. Oh, you didn't study the verbs. Okay. <laughs> You're very honest, Mr. Kanye. Okay, what about <laughs> I? Draw. The past is draw. 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 You just draw. change the I for O. Draw. And the sentence? I they draw. They draw. We can say the bus driver drove very dangerously or very fast. Okay. I drove to work. You drove to work today, exactly. Okay, the next one. Watch. 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 
Exactly, watched. And the sentence? Watched. Uh, yes, watched in the I watched TV in the morning. Okay, you watched TV in the morning. And what do you see? What do you watch in the morning? A movie, a TV program, the news, interviews? Uh, movies in Netflix. Oh, movies in Netflix. Okay. Excellent. Okay, guys, we are going to um, finish here. Okay, and we are going to continue with the rest of the class. But yes, I ask you people to please study the verbs because they are very, very important. Now, uh, in this exercise, uh, we, we couldn't finish this exercise yesterday. Can you do it right now? Can you tell me what are the answers? No, I can't, teacher. Yes, I can. I finish. Okay. We have, for example, I be interested in product. And you have to make a sentence using these words. So the subject is. I, I. The pass of B was me. I was <laughs> interested. Interested is an, also, is an adjective. Interesado. I was interested in the product. Okay, what about the number two? You bought, you, you exactly. were, you bought the eating December. You bought, you, you bought. plus buy Blocks. in past, which is bought. You bought the item in December. December. Number three. On, the, on December, on December. <laughs> we use in December when we say months, or years we use in but if you say a specific day for example december 31st december 24th you use on because you um, are very specific okay okay what about the number three she we start with the subject the pass of read is Rude. The pass of read is the same, but the pronunciation yeah. changes. You write it the same, but the pronunciation is different. And we say read. She read the policies. The policies. Okay. She read. She read. Exactly. Like the color. She, she read, read the policies of the company. Number four. O sea que in the in present is read, in the past is read. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. The new... supervisor. Ah, it's already in the past. Uh-huh. The supervisor gave me a discount. Number five. What is the correct form? Send. Send, yes, it's the past of send. They sent the contract to my email. My email. And the last one, he, he was, he was disappointed 
disappointed. Él estaba decepcionado. Are you finished, guys? Yes. Okay. Very good. This was a very easy exercise. Now, in the next exercise, I have a very long conversation, but I would like you to practice this conversation in pairs, okay? It's between a customer and a call center agent. I'm going to read it for you first so that you can see what's the correct pronunciation of this, of this uh, conversation, okay? The agent, thank you for calling ABC Company. My name is Ashley. How may I help you today? I am calling because I received a wrong bill. I just paid my phone bill two days ago and my payment is not reflected in the bill. Sorry for the inconvenience, madam. May I have your account number, please? 5340036548. For verification purposes, ma'am, can I get your name and birth date? Please? Oh, Megan Simpson, July 23rd, 19. 74, and the account is under my name. Thank you for that information, ma'am. For our systems data, you did pay your last bill last August 12th, which was two days ago in one of our affiliated payment centers, and you currently have zero balance. However, the bill that you received was generated a week before you made the payment. That's why your latest payment had not been reflected. You can simply disregard the amount indicated in the bill and continue enjoying our services. Thank you. Delays in the bill is usually caused by delays in our career services. For a more updated bill of your account, you can visit our website and log in into your account. This bill is more updated. Okay, I will. Will there be anything else that you need, madam? No, thanks. Thank you for calling. We are glad to see you. Okay, bye. <laughs> so what do you think about the conversation? Is it understandable? Could you understand? Did you understand the conversation? So, so. Not yet, teacher. Pudieron comprender la, 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 la conversación de qué trata? Hold on. No. No, teacher. I I guess, teacher, the ground uh, is about the pay of service service phone. Yeah, the woman received a bill, un, un recibo, um, reflecting that uh, she didn't pay. But she did pay. Ella sí pagó, pero aparecía que no había pagado. Entonces, okay. ella le explica que es porque. Do you understand why? ¿Entendieron por qué? Mm. Ahí dice: The bill that you received was generated. El recibo que usted recibió fue generado a week before you made the payment. Una semana antes de que ella hiciera el pago. 
Por eso su último pago no ha sido reflejado. Usted simplemente ignore la cantidad indicada en el recibo y continúe disfrutando de nuestros servicios. Ok, ok. Ok. Porque suele pasar, ¿verdad? Exactly. That is, I mean, that is something very common. Con las esquelas pasa eso también. With the electricity bill or the water bill. Mm -hmm. Or with any other service. Yes, it's true. Okay, so I will send you to breakout rooms and you are going to practice this conversation with your partners. So if you can take a screenshot, that would be nice. Come on, come on. Anyways, I'm gonna send it to your WhatsApp group. Okay. Is that better? I'm sorry? It's better. It's better. It's better. It's okay. Better. So let's go, please, and practice with your partners. Okay. Practice. Only please. practice. Yes, only practice. How was your day today? Okay, Nancy, let's practice the conversation. Let me open the conversation in the WhatsApp because I am connecting in my cell phone. Nancy, are you there? Hello, Nancy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no tenía sentido el lado. Ay, no, qué oso. Mm. <laughs> okay, Nancy, you Está have to practice. Yo solita. Fátima. She has connected um, via cell phone. And Fatima, can you see the WhatsApp? Because I sent the conversation on WhatsApp. La conversación. Mm -hmm. okay. You just I'm have to press. Sorry, sorry, I was. I have my. Okay, Fatima, oh. si gusta, hago la. Agent, yo. Mm -hmm. Agent. Mm -hmm. Agent. Okay. Yeah, the purpose of the activity is that you practice pronunciation, okay? And you learn new vocabulary. Yes. Okay. Thank you for under my name. Continue, for, verific uh -huh. for verification for six men. Can I can I have your name? I read it. Read it. Okay. Uh, your last meal last hour. I was twelve, which was today ago in one of our affiliate payment centers, and you currently have zero balance. However, the bill that you received was generated a week before you made the payment. That's why your latest payment has not been reflected. You can simple, simply 
simple is is regard the amount indicated in the bill in continuing joining enjoying thank you <laughs> however Arevo the bill Arevo the bill that you received was generated 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 mm -hmm. a week before you made the the payment that's why your last let, last let payment have not been reflected. You can see simple the <laughs> Mister <laughs> Miss Mister uh, May I have your account number please? Uh, Five, uh, how do you say that? It's Ah, okay. Five, three, four, zero, zero, three, six, five, four, eight. Uh, for verification purposes, ma'am. Ma'am. Mm, purposes, mister. Can I get your name? And birth date, please. Salvador Escobar, Julie 40. Hello, Cristina and Sandra. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine. Sandra dice que no puede hablar ahorita por... Ya estaba repasando sola. Ok, do you have questions about the pronunciation? No, teacher. Are you sure? Ok, let's practice a little, ok? Ok. okay. Um, you start. I am the customer. Uh, thank you for calling Abyss Company. My name is Ashley. How may I help you today? I am calling because I received a wrong bill. I just paid my phone bill two days ago and my payment is not reflected in the bill. Sorry for the inconvenience, maiden. May I have your account number, please? Five three four zero zero three six five four eight. For verification purposes, may can I get can I get your name and birth date, please? Is ma'am, ma'am or madam, okay? May. Hey, uh -huh. Madam or ma'am. Megan Simpson, July 24, 1974, and the account is under my name. Thank you for the information, Meng. Per, per all systems, date, como dice ahí, teacher? Per, oh. per, per, per all. Our, per our, our systems data. Per all system data, your deal. Pay your last bill late, August. 11, no, 12. Well, mm -hmm. 12, which was two days ago in one of our affiliated, affiliated, affiliated payment centers. And you currently have a balance. Zero balance. Um, Zero balance. However, however, the bill that you received was generated. Generated. What? 
was generated was generated a week before you made the payment that's why your last payment your latest your, your latest, latest. Your latest payment had not been reflected. 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 You can simply simply disregard the amount indirected. Indicated. Indicated. In the bear in. Continue enjoying our service. Our services. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Cristina. We are going to come back, okay, to the main session. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now almost everybody's back. Good. How was the practice? Was it good? Was it easy? Was it difficult? How was the practice? It's a difficult vocabulary, teacher. Vocabulary very easy, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. And I don't finish the conversation. You didn't finish the conversation, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which words were new for you? Which words were new for you? ¿Qué palabras nuevas encontraron? En la anterior conversación, the last conversation. Yeah, this one. Uh, this. <laughs> For example, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of bill? Bill means factura. Yeah, or recibo, right? Mm -hmm. Paid. Payment. Payment. Pago. Pago. Purple. Es purple or purple? Purposes. 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 Propósito. Propósito. Propósito, yes. So we were. Ajá, dice por propósito de verificación. For verification. Ajá. Purposes. Ajá. Paid is the past of pay, que significa pago, pagar, ¿verdad? Ah, the past of pay is paid. Okay. Another difficult word. Affiliated es como en español, afiliado. This 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 regard. This regard, which means no caso de. Hacer caso omiso o ignorar. Okay. Y Aniti o Aniti. Anything. 
Algo más, alguna cosa más. Anything. Es algo. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything Algo más. Algo más. Delays. Demoras. Anything else? Madam is like a short, a short for madam, señora, dama. Es una forma bastante... Como si... Es, es bastante inglés. Es bastante inglesa de la realeza. Madame. 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 Mm -hmm. Or sir. Como una the... ya bien señora, oh. bien ancianita. Ok. <risa> ya ven, aprendieron no. nuevas, nuevo vocabulario. Dije, en glad. I'm glad. We are glad. Estamos... Yeah. Eh, nos es un placer. Nos agrada. Estamos. Agradar en clase. Fue un placer ayudarle. We, uh, for, for example, if you say, oh, teacher, today I... Glad, glad uh, to meet you. I feel very happy because my, my son graduated from school. I could say, oh, I'm glad to hear that. O sea, me, me alegra saber eso. Uh -huh. Glad to clap. meet you también, ¿verdad? Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. Un gusto conocerte. Mm -hmm. Ok. Very good. Now we have another conversation. And I'm going to read it for you. I would like a someone to read the conversation with me. Who would like to do it? Someone who can be. Me too. Ok, amiga. Me too. You, you start, Mr. Cañengues. Okay, can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about the and what about our products? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Hmm. <laughs> so okay. as you notice, yes. Que es Cayenne? Agent. Agente. Agente. El agente okay. del call center. Uh -huh. okay. The call center person. Mm -hmm. That is the agent. Good. So as you notice, um, the woman is complaining about the service that she received. About, uh -huh. And um, uh, she is talking in the past in negative form. The agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so easy. Okay, so right now in the next activity, you have to write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't happen in these conversations. Mm -hmm. So what activities happened and which activities didn't happen? For example, for example, we can say, um, Draw negative. <laughs> For example, we can say the second agent was considerate. Okay. Uh, the name of the second agent was Romeo, and he explained everything to the woman. Things that didn't happen. The first agent didn't give a confirmation number. He didn't send a receipt. He didn't say his name. 
Okay, that's why you're gonna write here in here. Son understand. You write here activities that happened or activities in past affirmative and activities in the past negative. And now, Matias, is it clear? Don't understand. And use did and didn't. I don't. Did. Para aquí dice, miren, lea la conversación otra vez y escriba las actividades que sucedieron y las que no sucedieron. Aquí solo van a poner las actividades que sí pasaron, o sea, algo que, lo que sí se dio, ¿verdad? Y lo, aquí, lo que no, por ejemplo, well, I'm going to write one example for each. La gente, de agente team. The second agent was considering Things that didn't happen. The first agent didn't give her a confirmation. He didn't number. Give The second agent was considered, pero esa es como una conclusión a partir de todo lo que se ha leído, pero sí. una acción, sí, pero una acción directa de un suceso real. For example, the agent didn't, the, aid, the first agent, agent didn't give me a confirmation number or didn't give the the service uh, complete or good service podría ser un caso o no eso no pasó no le dio un buen servicio exactly pero yeah. siento que es como más directo es como más directo porque no sé siento que sí fue considerado pero mm, Mire, es como una conclusión look at this part the last part it says, it, uh, yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. Ah, okay. okay His no, name no. was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Yes, okay. Bueno, en lo que hacen esto, voy a pasar la... I'm, on, I'm going to take the second attendance, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Alba Vides. Present. Alfredo Alexander. Amir Carcañengues. Present. Carlos Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Romero. Present. Domingo González. Present. Fátima Portillo. Present. Jose Lemus. Here. Marco Velázquez. Here. Marlon Cardona. Mauricio Majano. Present. Thank you, Mauricio. Maideli, you did. Nancy Rodríguez. Present teacher. Rocío Martínez. Salvador Escobar. Present.
Sandra Velázquez. Walter Daniel. He's present in the chat. William Pérez. Present. And Jasmine Lemus. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. How is it going? Come on, how is it going? En el Diven estoy a un teacher. Okay. What is apologies, teacher? What do I mean? Apologies. Eh, mi disculpas. Ah, okay. Today was, I mean, people were celebrating Children's Day today. <laughs> I saw you very excited in the WhatsApp group. Yes. Sharing gifts and presents. <laughs> okay, so... Guys, can you tell me? Give me one. One activity that happened in the conversation. Hi, teacher. Hello, Fatima. Okay, the, the agent named Romeo was to consider and bring the complete information to the clients. Okay, and brought uh, or gave, gave the complete information to the client. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the, the client, the client did use it, the product in the end. Could use the product at the end. Okay, yes, very good. Another one. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Call, call you use it. In exactly, podría. Serle útil o algo así. No, could in this case is the past of can. Donde se es pudo. ¿Pudo oh. usar el producto? Uh -huh. Could you ah, use the product? Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Cool is the past can. 
Yes, it's the past of can. Okay. Okay, what about the, that? The first agent wasn't kind. Excellent. Another one? If you don't participate, she's, I'm going to start. Teacher, teacher it, uh, he was sick. He wasn't? He wasn't king? kind. Time. He wasn't kind. Kind mm -hmm. is a kind, kind is the mm -hmm. class. Uh, that is one meaning. As a noun and as an adjective means amable. Él no fue amable. Mm -hmm. He wasn't kind. Kind is amable. Yeah, when you say that's so kind of you, eso es muy amable de tu parte. That's so kind of you or from you. Mm -hmm. Y algo parecido a clase, no sé. Type or kind? What kind of music do you like? What type uh, of music do you like? How okay, eso, eso. That uh, is, ¿qué clase, vea? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué clase o qué tipo de música? Okay. Thank you guys for your ideas and participation. Now let's go to the core of the class. We have here the past tense of, of be in negative form. What is the structure? Subject. Depending on the subject, you are going to use wasn't or weren't plus the complement. Uh, for example, I'm going to say the subject pronoun and you tell me if it wasn't or weren't. I wasn't you weren't weren't she, wasn't. wasn't she wasn't it wasn't they weren't we weren't weren't we weren't hey. exactly and we have wasn't. examples mr velasquez are you there can you please read the sentences for all the people I wasn't interested. 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 You weren't cool. He wasn't kind. The people weren't helpful. They weren't online. Excellent. So as you can see, depending on the subject, you use wasn't or weren't. Singular wasn't, plural, where well. mm -hmm. well. so wasn't is the contraction of was not and weren't well. is the contraction of were well. not now i have here some examples Twenty twenty one or two thousand twenty one wasn't an easier year for everyone. Twenty twenty one wasn't an easy year for everyone. I wasn't sick of COVID. Yes. Some, some teachers were not prepared for virtual classes, and some students either. So as you can see, if 2021 lo puedo sustituir por ¿Qué, qué pronombre? It. It, exactly. It wasn't an easy year for everyone. I wasn't sick of COVID. Some teachers were not. Or weren't mm. prepared for virtual classes. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
so now I would like you to write three sentences using wasn't or weren't. Remember that after wasn't or weren't, van a usar un adjetivo o un sustantivo, pero no otro verbo. ¿Por qué? Porque para el pasado usamos otra estructura para mencionar otros verbos. No lo, el, aquí el verbo principal es el verbo be, que en pasado es wasn't or weren't. ¿Sí? Yes. Bye. Yes, teacher. Let's write, please, your, your example. You can talk about the last, I mean, it can, they can be about the last year or, or this situation of the pandemic, the quarantine, the quarantine, or any other thing that you would like to write about, but using wasn't and weren't. Three examples, please, right now, let's do it. Let's practice. Right in the chat. Yes, please. Café. Por favor. Ay, perdón. Estoy pidiendo café. Yes, we all need, we all need a cup of coffee. Thank you. Okay, Matías says, I wasn't at the meeting today. Excellent. I wasn't angry yesterday. I only was working. I was only working. Oh. My day today wasn't great. Oh, I'm so sorry, Fatima. Alfredo wasn't in English class today. Yeah, that's right. Wow, guys, you have nice examples. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. All the examples are correct. I wasn't prepared to travel, okay. More examples. Amilcar, this wasn't my day. <laughs> You weren't in class today in afternoon. Okay, today in the afternoon. Solo Yasmin, este, I weren't drink a cup of coffee. Vaya, mira Yasmin. ¿Cuál es el verbo ahí? Drink. Drinking. ¿Pero qué verbo estamos utilizando ahorita? Was. Ah, el wasn't. Este, este, or weren't. 
Entonces aquí no iría drink. Iría drinking. Tampoco. Solo tiene que usar el was y otra, otra, un adjetivo o un sustantivo. Pero uh, no... pues sí, I, I weren't hot. I, I wasn't. I weren't. I wasn't. Wasn't. Pero si soy yo. Ya le entendí. Ok. Sería, I was a hot a cup of coffee. Oh, puede ser, the cup of coffee wasn't hot. Ah, the cup. Okay. Okay. Wasn't hot. Ahí sí, mire, estamos usando el adjetivo hat. The o car sea, wasn't... Ya no, ya, no le, ya no le voy a poner otro verbo ahí. Ajá. Mauricio, the car wasn't slow. Nice. You weren't... Okay, they weren't at a nice restaurant. Excellent. He wasn't prepared for the action. Estaban preparados para la acción. For the action. They were at, oh. the at the meeting yesterday. The action. T -H -E. The exercises weren't difficult. Nice, Sakura. I wasn't agree with the purchases I made. Uh, mira, Nancy. En ese caso, Nancy, el verbo es agree. Teacher, have a question. I agreed with the purchases. I have a question. Diga. And and the bird and and these uh, sentences uh, is bird plus e ing in the past or in the verb base um, I didn't get it. Can you repeat, please? Okay. Uh, the verb in el verbo en estas oraciones puede estar en con ing en pasado o en forma base. No importa. Después del, 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 del verbo que está en pasado. O sea, que de adjetivo, de, de, de adjetivo se utiliza el otro verbo. Yo creo que él está confundido igual que yo. Sí, sí. Vaya, le, mire. Le, le puedo contestar para ver si entendí. Ok, Estoy ok. Bien. Que eh, la, la estructura de la oración dice Sajal. El was o were, o el, pero wasn't o were, más el complemento. Entonces no lleva verbo, el verbo ya está, was, were. Entonces si usted quiere hacer una oración sería, we were a uh, English. Uh -huh. Sí, pero... We weren't uh, in the English class. Or we weren't, we weren't right. <laughs> Vale, en el caso, eh, si lo quisiera hacer así, vale. I, was, I wasn't cutting paper. Yes. Ah, vaya, ese, eso que acaba de decir usted es pasado progresivo. No es pasado simple. Yo estaba cortando papel. I was, o oh, yo no estaba cortando papel. I wasn't cutting paper. But that is past, past progressive. Right so now. Dos verbos juntos. Pero tiene el ing. Pero es, es was or where plus the verb in the ing form. Pero ese uh -huh. es pasado progresivo y todavía no lo estamos estudiando. Ahorita es pasivo. ¿Ok? O sea que la que yo le puse está mala, Ticho. 
they weren't speaking at the meeting yesterday. Y speaking Mire, hablando. La, es, la estructura está correcta. Sí, está bien. O sea, la, la, la oración está bien, pero no está en pasado simple, sino que está en pasado mm. progresivo. ¿Sí? Ok, ok. La segunda, la primera sí la tiene mala. Ajá, la, la, la primera está mal. Ahora, o sea, la segunda que hizo con el pasado progresivo está buena, la estructura. La primera, la que usted dijo que había escrito, eso sí está mal, porque le puso un verbo. Es lo mismo que yo hice. Cutting, eh, la de... I wasn't cutting paper. No, la primera, la que escribió usted. La que escribió en el chat. I was... At the meeting today. I was at the meeting today. I was at the meeting today. I wasn't at the meeting today. Ajá, no estuve en la reunión hoy. Ajá, sí, eso sí. No. Yo, yo, porque no. tiene un, un at de. O sea, no sé, un, ¿Cómo se le llama eso, teacher? At. Eh, at una de... preposición. Una preposición. No lleva un verbo a la par del otro verbo. Por eso es lo que tenía la, la duda. Pero ya entendí, Ticha. Nancy. Nancy, creo que quería decir um, you were not in the party. Okay. Creo que ahí se le fue. Sí, creo que eso quería decir. Ajá. Parto. Parto. You. Muy bien. Can we continue? Sí, any other questions? Acuérdense que wasn't significa no estaba y weren't no estaban o no eran o no fueron. Pero de cero no estaba. estaba. Teacher, no estaba o no estuve. O no estuvo. Uh -huh. Teacher. O no fueron, o no era. Sí, una consulta. Pero se podría hacer así como lo puse, o sea, así como lo puso usted, a la abreviatura también, así como lo puse primero. Contracted, no. yes. Contracted or full form. Was not. Wasn't, weren't. My goodness, Teacher. every day, a lot of ambulances every day. <laughs> yeah, Teacher. we are in a very difficult situation right now. Yes, mister? Eh, entonces, si nosotros agregamos ya otro verbo junto con el verbo to be, ya cambia, el, eh, pasa progresivo. A, a progresivo. Sí, pero tiene Am que llevar el ING. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Pasado progresivo. Entonces solo es otro tiempo. Otro tiempo. Uh -huh. Ya es, ajá, otro que no. O sea que, o sea, o sea que no puedo poner otro verbo a la parte del verbo to be. No, porque el verbo es en pasado. Es wasn't or weren't. Uh -huh. Sí se puede, Entonces, ver, pero es en otro el... tiempo. Acuérdense que el, este verbo es especial, yo así le digo, ¿verdad? Que este verbo es especial, en el presente, en el pasado, en el futuro, el verbo to be es especial, it's a special. It's, a special. Mm -hmm. it's different. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's forget a little bit about the wasn't and weren't, and now let's go for the simple past negative of other verbs. They weren't slow in the race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's correct. It's Okay, now simple pass of other verbs. What is the structure? Subject plus if not or okay. didn't. Plus the verb in the base form. Plus the complement. Example. Let's see. Um, Let's see, let's see. Fatima, can you please read the example? I didn't receive any number. You didn't send a contract. 
he didn't say his name. She didn't call again. We didn't buy a product. Exactly. So as you can see, we have the subject. We have didn't or did not. And the verb is in the base form. And we have the complement. The, this is very important to remember. The verb in the negative form is going to be in the base form. Okay, en negativo va a ir, no Siempre. lo va a escribir en pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque ya lleva el auxiliar y el auxiliar indica que él está hablando en pasado. Entonces sería, you didn't send, he didn't say, she didn't call, we didn't buy. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Sure. Yes, Mr. Cañengues. El didn't en este caso es el auxiliar, pero el auxiliar del verbo to be, ¿se podría decir que es el verbo to be? Como no entendí. No, 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 no. Ya les dije que ahorita olviden el wasn't y el weren't. Eso no, ya no, que... de acuerdo. Solo que es pensaba como el... relacionado a el hecho de que... Porque when... el verbo to be por sí solo es un verbo auxiliar. Él solito, pues es un verbo especial. No, no sé. Ajá. Tal vez no lo mismo. Okay. Ahora, para los demás <risa> verbos, para todos los demás verbos, vamos a utilizar el auxiliar didn't or did not. Did to make the past. Así como el tú en el presente. I don't receive any number. Ajá. No I didn't recibido. receive any number. No he recibido ningún número, ¿verdad? No recibí ningún número. O no he recibido. No, no he recibido es presente perfecto. Well, ok. I didn't es no recibí, ¿verdad? No recibí una acción que se pasó... Y terminó en el pasado. Y ya no continúa. I'm not receiving any... No recibí ningún número. No me mandas... Tú no me mandaste el contrato. Un contrato. Él no dijo su nombre. Ella no volvió a llamar. No compramos un producto. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Y por eso, como les dije ayer, utilizamos expresiones eh, past time expressions del pasado. Por ejemplo, yes, last yes. night, last year, last month, last week, three years ago, a month ago, three hours ago, etc. She, she didn't call again. Ella no llamó otra vez. Uh -huh. O oh, no volvió a llamar. O no llamó otra vez. O sea, que este es como que si ahora mal do el das, pero bien pasado. Correcto, ah. muy bien. Ajá, eso digo, es lo excelente. Que... Lo mismito. Exactamente. Solo que... Que das, sino que solo didi. Exactly. Solo vamos a usar uno para todos los sujetos. O sea, que es más fácil que en el presente. Because you just have I, to did, say I didn't. I didn't know. I don't know. I didn't know. No lo supe. Ajá, Ajá, no lo sabía. Uh -huh. No lo sabía. Uh -huh. No sabía. I didn't know. I didn't know. Examples. My examples. Sí, okay. porque todavía está un poquito. Dele, dele. Es que no me lo da. <laughs> Last year, I didn't travel abroad. Abroad. Uh -huh. No, no viajé al extranjero. I didn't travel abroad. Abroad es extranjero. Yeah, afuera. De las fronteras. This was very sad. I didn't see my boyfriend in five months because of the quarantine. And I didn't go to any party. I didn't dance because I didn't go to any party. Okay, that was pero, last pero, 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 year because no, of the todavía. pandemic. Teacher, y con respecto, yo ya me perdí. <ríe> y solo fui aquí. a ninguna fiesta. 
No vi mi amigo en cinco meses, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? No vi a mi novio no. en cinco meses. No, yo digo amigo, teacher. ¿Cómo voy a decir novio? <risa> no, si es que son los ejemplos de la teacher. Puede tener novio. Nada. <risa> oh. Oye, es igualdad de género. Oh, yeah. este, este, no nos pasemos a otros temas, por favor. Temas polémicos. Teacher, y, 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 entonces aquí sería solo con Dinop. Din Así es. Diden. Diden, Diden. Y cuando, y entonces. Y aquí sí, de ese gusto usando otros verbos. Aquí pongan todos los que querían poner, miren. I didn't drink. Beer. Está fácil. Está fácil. En pasado simple usamos did. En simple present usamos do and that. Don. Exactly. Yeah. Y, so, y corre. I love that. That you, um, that, it, that is called understanding. You are making connections with the previous knowledge. Aquí el verbo está en, en, en base, ¿verdad? El verbo base, normal. Y en su forma base. Eso y lo... en el otro tenemos que con, conjugarlo. ¿En cuál otro? ¿En cuál otro? Eh, cuando, usamos, cuando usamos do and does, cambiamos el verbo. No. O no, ahí no era. No. No, en, en was, where, eh, en was, where. No hay wow, verbo. Wow, no, wow, porque wow. el verbo es was, and, es was and where. Ese es el verbo. No, el otro es have. Have y has, ahí conjugamos el verbo, va. Cuando usamos has y has. Presente. Ajá, ahí. Pero en usamos? el pasado no pasa eso. Porque es el mismo para todos. Para primera persona, segunda persona, tercera persona, singular sí. y plural. Uh -huh. Ok. I didn't, you didn't, he didn't, she didn't, we didn't, they didn't. Mm, ok, ok, ok. Ya entendí. Sí. Ahora sí. Make your own examples, please, and share them in the chat. Ok. Teacher, antes de... Eh, en el cuadro anterior donde dijo Dick y didn't, Dick también sería pasado. Lo ocupo como Dick. Cuando estuvimos haciendo las oraciones de, de, de la conversación que sacáramos, lo que pasó y lo que, y lo que no pasó. Uh -huh. Se puede usar entonces así también, igual que el, 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 como, el, como se conforma la, la oración. Eh, dígame no. un ejemplo porque no le capto la idea. Eh, por ejemplo, si, si, si abrevio el eh, eh, ejemplo que tiene que dice I did receive my own number. I didn't. Negativo. I, siempre va a ser negativo. Este sí es negativo, didn't. Es que lleva no. Not. not. Lleva not, entonces I didn't es no. Ok. Y didn't is the contraction of did not. O sea, cuando use didn't es siempre no. Mm, no, no es así. Eh, lo que dice el, el siguiente verbo es lo que define la oración. Por ejemplo, donde dice he didn't say his name. Ay, no, él yo, yo no, no dijo, él no dijo. Say. Ajá, por eso. Por no, eso, no. por eso Yasmin está diciendo que significa no y lo hace pasar. Ajá, o sea, hace siempre pasar. Con la oración va a ser negativa, pues, porque ya lleva el no. I didn't receive, you didn't say, he didn't say. 
Entonces, Look at these no... samples. Rocío says, I didn't work today because I am sick. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rocío. I hope you get well soon. Mas, Matías, he didn't understand. Eh, Rocío no, Martínez dice, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Matías, I didn't pay attention in class because I am working right now. I did not write the mail this morning. Ah, no escribí el correo esta mañana. Okay. My partner did not send payroll on time. Ay, mi compañero no mandó los, los payrolls on time. Ay, I'm so sorry for that. You're going to get paid late. They didn't climb so high. No es, escalaron muy alto. Okay. No había entendido este tema. Y no, usted estaba diciendo que estaba fácil, pues. No había He entendido. Le... The <ríe> no había ent entendido. Teacher, no me equivoqué. Me equivoqué, teacher. Ese fue el, el, la comita. Apóstrofe. Y si tilde le puso, y es apóstrofe. Es que, es que no, tiene, no tiene eso mi. Tienen que cambiarle el teclado a inglés. Cambia el teclado no. para que le salga. Pero a ver, ¿dónde está aquí? Oh, está la función, perdón. Está la función donde dice, donde dice el símbolo de Windows, hay uno que dice FN. Ajá. Y, y te vas a, a donde está el asterisco de pregunta, la pícla abajo, hay un guioncito ahí en medio de esas dos teclas. Le das FS y después le pegas ahí y te da el guioncito. Bárbaro. Bien pro estos compañeros, miren. I Prueba. didn't understand. <laughs> you didn't understand, Domingo. You didn't understand what he said. <laughs> el mío, el mío, para cambiar el teclado, lo tiene al lado derecho, a la parte de la hora. Ahí hay una, una función que la cambia hora. el teclado. El mío no la tiene hora. A la, a la parte de la hora. Es un, bueno, la en la pantalla está está hablando ya así. En, en la pantalla. Ah. En el escritorio. En la pantalla. Sí, sí. Perdón. En la barra de tareas. En la barra de tareas eh, inferior a la parte de la hora. Allí hay una opción que ah. dice español o inglés. Y ahí le da clic y usted selecciona el modo que quiere. Y ahí le cambia ya el teclado. A ver, que no solo yo lo ocupo. Ese es el problema. No es el que. No hay problema. Tenga. Al día siguiente hay que le, le, la cambia ahorita. Y ya cuando se apague y la vuelven a encender al día, se vuelve a poner como estaba inicialmente. Oh, eso sí, no lo sabía. Thank you so okay. much for the information. Yeah. Okay, I am waiting for more examples. No he visto Ay. ejemplos. No he visto ejemplos de Marco. No sé qué le pasa a Marco ahora. ¿Verdad? No he visto ahorita ejemplos de Alba, de Salvador. Sí, sí. Eh, Marco, sí, sí. Ah, quizás está en cero. De los chicos oyentes también necesitamos aquí sus, sus aportes. Sus aportes son importantes. Teacher, I want to say, I want... Uh, I have the problem in the mother homework. In the last section, uh, when to unscribe all the sentences, uh, lo he intentado de muchas maneras y nada. Well, Incluso quise omitir la expresión to porque creía que estaba de más en la estructura de las oraciones y nada, no me deja pasar. Y son ¿Cuál? dos nada más las que no puedo. <risa> eh, ya sé cuál. En Miden. Yes. Marco te vi, le ah, falta el vid. En Miden, sí. Yo lo ¿Pero qué hiciste, todo. Matías? Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita lo veo. Porque fíjate que letra capital al inicio, punto al final, buena estructura de, según el, según lo que ahí se dice, el wood. Would like to y nada, no me deja. Eh, mándamelo al, al WhatsApp. Ah, la, la parte 4. Yes, yes, yes. 
Si pudieras, amigo, te lo agradecería. Number one, I would like to change the, the product. This product. Con mayúscula y punto al final. Sí, pero, 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 pero. Mm. Mayúscula al inicio. I would like to change. Espérame, 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 espérame. Ahorita estoy adentro, permitidme. Ok, vamos a ver. I'm so sorry, Marco, that you are not feeling okay. I hope you feel better soon, ok? Don't worry. Jasmine, I didn't read the book, solo que va con una de nada más, Jasmine. Cristina. Se me fue, se me fue. Ok, I didn't go to the beach in vacation. Matías. Es más, esa cosa me estaba poniendo don. Matías. <laughs> Espérate, te la voy a... Te la voy a... Va, por ejemplo, le puse, mira, I would to change these products. Esta es la primera, mira. No, la está es incorrecta, sí. I would change these products. Esa es la primera y te la mandé en el, like primer, en el chat. No, Ahí en el chat oh, está okay. la primera. Like Va, ahorita voy, ahorita voy. Ahí te mandé la primera. Y aquí está la segunda, mira. Ahí está la segunda. En el chat del Zoom. En el chat del Zoom, correcto. Okay. Ahí están las dos mías, mirarlas ahí, está padre. Ahí están. Ahorita voy, ahorita voy. Ah, oh, Domingo dice, I didn't have time today. No, lleva, no, no, lleva, no lleva punta en la segunda. I would like to change this. Ooh. Come oh, on, teacher. Uh, I bet the forest too. Yes. Okay. Ah, sí. No lleva punto en la segunda, ¿viste? ¿Qué es eso? Es lo que yo me di. Guerra ahí y el puntito se lo quité y ya salió. Vaya, así le pongo. I would like to change this product. Product, le... Y el punto. Sí, el punto. I mayúscula like al inicio. To... Mayúscula al inicio. Sí, sí, sí. Y lo mismo y en el otro. Quiero ver dónde está. Dónde We está. Will do... Uno abajo. Eh. Uno abajo. They didn't play soccer yesterday. Pueden darle ah, refresh. We wouldn't. Wouldn't. We wouldn't We like wouldn't to like... say. To stay in this place. Sin punto. Vaya, Quitarle el punto. punto. No, quitárselo. Ese no lleva punto. Ese no lleva punto. ¿Y por qué, teacher? Porque Why, es, teacher? Problema de, es problema de plataforma. Es Pero, problema. Yo probé de todo. Si sí, te digo que le quité el punto y me funcionó. Porque es porque Les ha dado punto. bastante problema este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Creo que es el que más. Ah, en la segunda del, del ejercicio del examen no lleva punto. No lleva. Punto. No, me, yo me di guerra, yo le hice de toda madre y hasta inventé. No lleva punto. Es cierto, sin punto. Sí, hay que me estaba escribiendo como a las 11 de la noche, ¿verdad? Sí, que ha aplicado, ¿eh? Lo que dice, ¿eh? lo que Vaya, dice la Matías, primera sí lleva. La primera sí lleva. La primera sí lleva. Sí. La segunda Please no. Please continue in the next exercise. Ok, eh, teacher. <ríe> Write next class English. English class. Write the sentences using negative in simple past. I am satisfied with my laptop. Oh. Sería. Esta la voy a imprimir. Me gusta. I was satisfied with my laptop. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Excellent. Creo que ese fue Walter o William, ¿verdad? Alguno. Es que no les conozco la carita. I wasn't. Ni, ni la voz, porque no lo logro reconocer. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Uh -huh. Marta writes a letter to her boss. Marta. Marta. Sí. Marta. Wrote, 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 ah yes, wrote, 
Magda wrote a letter to her boss. Number three. We were, we were. We were so happy with the food service. Pedro, I need teacher, to drive to the company. Eh, están malas, teacher. Solo la primera está buena. Porque dice negativo. En simple paso. Ah, ok. Thank you. Let's do it again. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Ok, Marta. Is not okay. negative. Didn't. No, Mar Marta where Marta was was Marta didn't. didn't. Marta didn't. Oh, okay. Didn't write, write a letter. Sin ese. Sin ese. Didn't write a letter. Yes. Teacher, no me funcionó. Matías, no me funcionó. Quizás ya se encasquilló mi... Sí, mi ahorita le... Sálgase y luego se vuelve a meter porque ya se encaprichó, ¿ok? okay Marta okay. didn't write a letter to her boss. We are so happy with the food service. We... Are What is the pass of R? We weren't. Uh, were, were Negative uh, weren't. We weren't. Uh, no, no, no. Nancy, que le dio risa, Nancy. We weren't so happy with the food. <laughs> with the food sí, service. Sí, como le dijo, como le dijo al compañero, DJ. <laughs> Se encasquilló usted o la página. <risa> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, okay. Um, Pedro and me drive to the company. Teacher, en la número well, dos. Teacher, en la número dos, right es con S o sin S? Sin S. Es que aquí en la, en la pregunta está con S o está mal. Porque está en, en presente. Ah, la regla de la S. Porque okay. están en presente. Estas oraciones las tenemos que pasar al pasado y al negativo. Ok. Uh -huh. So, Marta, dire... sí, para mí que este ejercicio hubiera sido así, mire, negativo pero en, en presente y luego negativo en pasado. Pero está en afirmativo presente y hay que pasarlo al pasado y en negativo. ¿Verdad? Pero, okay. Así es el manual. <laughs> okay, we weren't so happy with the food service. Pedro and me. Ajá. No Where? Didn't, didn't, didn't. Didn't, didn't. Just me. Didn't. 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 Pedro and me. Didn't. 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 <laughs> bad service, bad service, Yasmin. Sí, voy a reclamar. Yeah, the please. The principal send me an email. The, the principal. The principal. Didn't, didn't. Didn't, didn't send anything. Didn't send many emails. The program is too slow. The program wasn't. Wasn't. Okay. Wasn't too slow. Okay, that's it. 
Tag seat. Por eso no es bueno hacer las tareas hasta el último día. No, de eso lo vengo <risa> intentando desde ayer, hermano. Yo, ayer el Miden lo hice la semana pasada. Ah, oh, lo siento. No soy tan bueno como tú, entonces. Excuse practic, me, please. Practice. <risa> <Se cuchilló. risa> ¿Y por qué no enseñar bien? Siempre salí entre cara cortada. Mm. <risa> Tengo muchos tatuajes. Tengo muchos tatuajes. Pánico escénico. Siempre tengo muchos tatuajes, tengo muchos tatuajes. <risa> Callado, <risa> me querés ver bien. <risa> bien. Va. Ahí estoy. Finish. Regáñenos, Ok, next, next activity. Ah, ok. Remember, the past of can is good. In the present is can, negative can't. In the past is couldn't. Could, couldn't. Example in the present, I can cook in the past. I could cook very well. She could ride a horse in the past. She could ride a horse when she was little. Can we run for one hour? Could you run for an hour when you were younger? Yo podía cocinar bien. Ella podía montar a caballo. ¿Podías correr por una hora cuando eras más joven? Podías, podías. Teacher, ¿y esa, y esa del presente de Ken? Este, solo se le agrega T para, para, para decirlo como en negativo. Ajá, sí, es que sí son todas las contracciones del not, ¿verdad? Can and can't. Ahora, si se fijan, cuando usan como el can es otro verbo especial que se usa solo, se usa solito. Entonces, eh, no usamos el, el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Sino... El cook, así como el can, solo que en pasado va a ser cook. Y en negativo, couldn't. ¿Sí? Y, no, no, no. y si se habla en tercera persona, el verbo no se le agrega a ese, ¿verdad? Claro que no. Es en todos los que son modals, no. Ok. Esa era una aclaración, ¿verdad? Ok. okay. Um, it's 9.50. I don't think we have time for the listening practice, but you can do it by your own. Ahí tienen el link, lo pueden hacer por su propia cuenta y va a ser un, un buen ejercicio de listening. Ahora, eh, tampoco vamos a tener tiempo para el role play, pero sí quisiera que trabajáramos en el wrap-up, ¿verdad? El wrap-up is, why didn't you eat this week but you want to eat? What didn't you do this week? What wasn't easy for you in this class? What wasn't difficult for you in this class? Which students were not in class today? Who was not in class yesterday? So you are going to discuss these questions with your partners in the groups, okay? Los voy a poner en breakout rooms and please, please, please practice, speak. Okay, you need to speak, okay? So take a screenshot or... Only practice. I'm so sorry? Can you Only repeat? practice. Practice, yes, ask and answer, ask and answer. Have a conversation. Teacher, ponga la, la conversación. Se las voy a mandar al WhatsApp. Ya ahorita se las mando. The answer. You have, you know the answer. You have the answer. Okay.
Hello, guys. I know. I didn't. I didn't eat China food. China Chinese. Food? Chinese, Chinese food. food. Uh, Nancy? Uh, I didn't know. I did. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? I did. I did not or I didn't. Uh, I did not eat meal, carne, meat. Meat. Mm -hmm. A weekend. This week. This week. I didn't eat fish this week. Me too, teacher. I didn't eat. Yeah, I didn't eat fish. <laughs> okay, continue practicing, please. Uh, what wasn't easy uh, for you in the class, in this class? Para ti en esta clase, what was easy for you in this class? What was, ah, no, ¿qué, ¿Qué es lo que no fue fácil para ti en esta clase? Todo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All. All. Uh, what? What wasn't difficult for you in this class? No sé qué contestar. ¿Qué no, qué no fue difícil para usted en esta clase? ¿Qué no fue difícil? Solo escucharla a usted, y es lo único. <laughs> that was not the okay, but you didn't have you didn't have problems with the internet, okay? <laughs> That's good. Which student were not in class? Hi, teacher. Hello, Cristina. Estamos discutiendo con Matías que no sabemos cómo comienza la respuesta ahí. Hay mm. guare en la primera. Hay guare o hay dide. No, hay wa wanted. Hay wanted. Wa to wanted. Eat. Listen my uh, answer. Okay. I wanted to eat rice with chicken. Mm -hmm. Sí, puede ser una manera, porque dice, what didn't you eat this week, but you wanted to eat? For uh -huh. example, I wanted to eat fish, but I didn't eat it. Uh -huh. But I didn't eat fish. Ajá, sí, porque es que lo que le pregunta, no puede decir que no comiste en la semana, o sea, no le puede decir eso. I didn't eat pizza, but and I wanted to eat pizza. Ajá, uh -huh. I wanted um, to eat, ajá. Uh -huh. También puede decir, I didn't eat pizza. Sí, no comí pizza. Esa es la respuesta, porque le pregunta que no comió y usted quería pero comer. Que, pero que deseó comer. Por ejemplo, yo le, eh, le respondí, I wanted, I wanted or wanted. ¿Cómo es la wanted. pronuncia? Wanted. Wanted. I wanted to eat chow mein. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Una pizza de Ajá. Very good. I wanted yeah. to eat. Good example. Eat. What didn't you do this week? What you did? What didn't you do? ¿Qué no hizo? ¿Qué no hizo en la semana? I, I didn't relax in the week. ¿Cómo era? What didn't? What? Oh, I didn't. I didn't do to relax this week. Teacher? 
I didn't relax. Solo relax, uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't relax this week. Okay. Me too. Hmm? Me too. <laughs> you mm -hmm. didn't relax. I didn't visit. Yes. I didn't visit my mom. I sleep. Oh, ¿cómo sería? Dormir un poco más. No, I didn't sleep a little bit more. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, time, it's time to go back. Oh, okay. the time flash okay so can you tell me what didn't you eat this week and you wanted to eat i wanted to eat rice with chicken okay but you didn't eat it i wanted to mm -hmm. eat fish but I didn't eat fish. Cristina wanted to eat chow mein, but she didn't eat chow mein. Next question. What didn't you do this week? ¿Qué no hice esta semana? What didn't you do this week? I didn't go to the gym teacher, for example. Okay, nice. <laughs> Se me nota, ¿verdad? Me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Hey, mostrate completo, mostrate completo. <laughs> Good, ok. El amigo es misterioso. You are a no, es, que, es que a veces de repente viene el niño a estar molestando. Por eso es Next que no. question. <laughs> What wasn't difficult for you in this class? What was not difficult for you in this class? For one, example, one, it two, was three. difficult teacher, uh, the class now for to the birds in the different time. Okay, yeah. Okay, maybe we need more practice. That's what, that's all we need. Yes, yes. Yeah, please this weekend, the homework will be to study. That is the homework to study, to review the verbs in past, to review the affirmative form, the negative form. Because on Monday, we are going to study the question form, okay? Okay. Here in the class, we don't have enough time to do a lot of activities, but I try to give you the most important, the core, okay? I give you like, the prompt, but you have to investigate and you have to do your own, um, you have to study by yourself, okay? That's very important. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. To study the verse in English, the past tense. <laughs> okay, it's time to take the last attendance. Let's see, Alba Dinora. Okay, thank you, Alfredo Alexander. Alfredo was not in class today. Amilcar Cañenga. Present. Carlos Rodriguez. Present. Cristina Romero. Present. Domingo González. Present. Fátima Portillo. Present. Matías Lemos. Present. Marco Velázquez. Present. Marlon Cardona. Mauricio. Present, teacher. Maydeli. Nancy, 
Alguien que ha de salir por ahí. Present, present teacher. Present. Chat. Uh, eh, Rocío. Present teacher. Salvador. Present teacher. Sandra. Present teacher. Víctor. Present. Walter Daniel. Dijo ahí present in the chat. Eh, William. And Jasmine Melanie. Oh, beautiful night, people. Okay, have a nice weekend. And I hope yes, to see you on yes. Monday. Please sleep, rest well, and be careful because COVID is everywhere. So yes. don't go out if it is not necessary, please. Take care of yourself and take care of your family and friends. Okay, thank you. Thank Bye. You. Um, Oh, Maideli ya se desconectó. A ella le toca quedarse ahora, pero no se va a quedar porque ya se desconectó. Si alguien más desea quedarse, yo voy a estar aquí 10 minutos conectada. Mi teacher. Ok, Nancy. Thank you. Have a beautiful night, people. Bye bye. 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 Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Thank you, you too. Goodbye. Goodbye. Allí alguien dice que teacher me sacó Zoom, ya no puedo entrar. Cada vez que entro a salas de grupo, me saca Zoom. Pero no sé quién es. Yasmin Melanie, creo que es. Ok. Muy bien, Nancy, dígame. Más que todo la pronunciación, dicha. Los ejemplos, este, sí les voy entendiendo. Ay, es que a veces me da... Ay, disculpe por lo que pasó, que, 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 que le respondí a su compañera. Pero lo que sucede es que se ponen a... Yo siento que a veces... A veces está bien. No está, no está. Ajá, pero, pero o sea, no, a veces... No correcto en la clase, pues. A veces también siento que confunden a los demás con todo lo que dicen. Exacto, exacto. Y yo digo, no, no quiero que los confundan. <risa> es lo que directa. Pasa. ¿Ah? Bien directa se escuchó. ¿O qué se debe estar ya? Ay, no, perdón, de verdad es que hoy sí no pude controlar eso. <risa> no, que me ando las emociones a flor de piel. Oh, ah, vaya. Bueno, entonces Nancy, pronunciation. Sí, por favor. Ok. Uh, ¿Qué le, le gustaría que practicáramos la conversación? Sí. Bueno. La que lo, lo hicieron, la, la primera conversación creo que es la más larga. La más, ok. Uh -huh. Ahorita la pongo. Me alegra de que, de, que les, de que estén teniendo los ejemplos. De hecho, los ejemplos que hizo hoy estuvieron excelentes. ¿Cómo? Me alegra mucho que estén entendiendo los ejemplos, estén entendiendo la clase. Ajá. Los es que ejemplos que escribió estuvieron muy bien. Sí, es que en los ejemplos sí no tengo mayor dificultad. Lo que tengo mayor dificultad y se me dificulta mucho, bastante. Es en la pronunciación. Mm -hmm. Sí, and that is a matter of practice. Practice and practice. So, I'm going to, you start. You start, Nancy. Usted comienza, Nancy. Pero reactive el micrófono. <laughs> Uch, bueno. Eh, ok, thank you for can... calling. Can... Thank you for calling. Calling. Thank you for calling ABC Company. My name is. Eh... Puedo decir cualquier nombre. Sí, pero ahí dice Ashley. Ashley. How may uh, help you? Today, I am calling because I received the wrong meal. 
I just paid my phone bill two days ago and my payment is not reflected in the bill. Sorry for the inconvenience. Inconvenience. Mm -hmm. Inconvenience. Uh, inconvenience. Madame May, I have your account. A number, please. Usted diga los números, por favor. Okay. Five, three, four. El cero no se echa. Zero. Zero. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. A three, six, five, four, A. A for be verification 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 trate de revisar eh, un poquito más el Sean Shh. Sure. como cuando está callando alguien vea Sean 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 Haga ese, sure. Haga ese ejercicio, Nancy. Shhh. Sure. Sure. Verification. Verification. Verificar. Verificar. Verification. Cation. Cation. Verification. Ahí, ya casi, vea, ya, ahí va. Verification, cation, 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 cation. Verification. Ah, Verification. Ajá. Diga sí. solo cation. Cation. Sí, siento que lo dice con la CH, con CH en vez de CH. Es con SH, digámoslo así. Verification. Verification. Sean, Sean. Sean. Verification. Sean. Sean. Verification. Ah, pero lo dice con, como con CH. Sean. Así lo dice. Sean. Verification, así lo dice. Tiene que decirlo como SH. SH. Ajá, no, ch, 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 no como che, 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 no que SH, que es algo que no utilizamos mucho en español, en nuestro idioma. Okay. Pero en inglés sí. Sean. Verification. Excelente. Vaya, ahora sí, mire. Ahora sí le salió. Vaya, dígalo otra vez. Verification. Ajá, verification. Verification. Y entre más lo practique, le va a ir saliendo mejor. Ok. One more time. Verification. Purposes. 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 Mem. Can I get for many? Uh, Can I get your name and birth date? Can, Can I, I get, get your name and birth date? Uh -huh. Can I get your name and birth date? Birth date. Please. <laughs> Megan Simpson, July 23rd, 1974, and the account is under my name. Thank you for the information. Ah, uh, otra vez, tenemos al Sean. Information. 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 Sean, information. Information. Ah, ahí está. Mire bien, lo puede decir. 
Thank you for that information, ma'am. Information, ma'am. Eh, per, así se dice per. per. Per our system data. Per our, our ¿cómo? Our systems data. Uh, our system data. You did affiliate. You did pay. You did play. Your last bill. Uh, ya me estaba durmiendo, teacher. Ya iba por abajo. You like. You did play. You like beat lap. A good. Um, 70? No. 12. 12. Which? What? Today? I got in one hour. In Our one hour. Affiliated. In one of our affiliated payment centers. Centers. Affiliated. 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 Payment sentence. Uh, and you currently have. Currently, currently have. Currently how? Zero balance. Zero balance. 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 How well? Balance. Balance. How? Balance. However. 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 The will. What you receive. What. General. Generated. Gener. Generated. 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 No sé, teacher, se me Generated. Traba la lengua. Generated. Rated. Ray. Deep. Deep. Generated. Generated. La T en inglés a veces se pronuncia como que si fuera R. Gene. Gene. Rated. 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 Generated. Ravy. Generated. Generated. No, es que esa palabrita no la puedo decir. Gene. Ray. 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 Diga Ray. Ray. Gray. No, Ray. 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 Vaya, ya ven que se lo puede decir. Ray. Ray. Ahí está. Generated. Ray. Mm. Ok. Generated. Ah. Agüit. Uh, before you may the playman what the That's what I what why that you love come that's why that why your you, your love latest latest Play man, I'm not beat. Receive. Reflect it. Reflect it. Mm -hmm. You can, you can please. You can sing, please. You can sing, please. This regular. This. This regard. This regard. The um among indicate in the bill and continuous employee 
your service. Yes, thank you. Uh, delay in the bill. Delay. Delay in the bill. Delay in the bill is usually cozy. B. Delay in our career. Career. Service. Career. Service. Services. For services for a, a more. Updated bill. I direct bill or for come a come. You can visit your our home. our website. Our website and now give now give to your account. To your account, this grid is more updated. Updated. I better. Okay, I will. Will there be acting anything? Everything else? Else. 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 What you need, madam? Nothing. Thank you for calling. We are class assisting you. To assist you. To assist you. Okay, bye. Algo de traba lengua, teacher, pero. Mire, ¿sabe qué? Practíquelo muchas veces y grábese. Grábese y mándeme la. Mandemela. Sí. Ok, ok. Sí, también puede, también puede ver la pronunciación en internet, ¿verdad? O sea, hay diccionarios que ahí sale cómo se pronuncia. La pronunciación ahí a la par. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ahí okay. cuando sale el símbolo de el símbolo de sonido, ¿verdad? Con una trompetita. Ah, uh -huh, ok. Sí, sí, sí. Solo que allí sale bien rápido, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pues sí, yo aquí los hago más despacio. Está bien. Thank you. Yo creo que ya eran diez minutos y ya le quité media hora. Ay, no se preocupe. Mañana es sábado. Ah, bueno. Sí, cuídese. Feliz noche. Adiós. Bye. See you tomorrow.